All right. Can you please tell me your name? My name is Mimi Allen. And can you tell us about the object you brought with you today? Yes. I brought with me a rotary telephone, uh, like I used to have growing up. It is not my object. It is from the Elsewhere collection, where I am an artist in resident. So I'm living there. And um, part of my goal and my job as an artist in residence is to work with the collection. And um, I came here with the idea that I would walk love across the city of Greensboro, but I didn't know about the phone yet. Um, by walking love, I mean walking a path that spells the letters L-O-V-E. Um, so yesterday I spent uh, some time projecting a map and hand drawing a map because it's very hard to find a map. Um, and I, I wrote love across the entire thing, making sure that I crossed race and class lines and really got in as much of Greensboro as I could. And the phone came in. Um, well, it was an object identified as something that embodies love. It's how you get in touch with people, it's family related, it's, I can remember collect calls when I was little, like my mom picking up, like, just say yes. Uh, wanting to come home, missing somebody. So um, I've been going to community meetings and to art openings and finding out what's happening in Greensboro. Um, I know um, about the history of Greensboro and the civil rights and the massacre, and I'm thinking about how it is we might embed love into the geography and how we all experience um, the same space differently. And with the phone, I carried it around one day and everyone noticed it and said something. So it's like, this is a talking object. People will talk to me because I've got this. Um, and it came to me that what happened, instead of me asking questions to people um, or the phone carrying songs or poems um, by famous people related to love, I would invite people to share encouragement, love, hope, hello, friendship to someone else in their community. And I would collect those voices and they would live on the phone. And then when as I walked around or when the phone at the end goes to the museum, people could pick up the phone and hear words of encouragement that they might need to hear. So today was my first day of starting to walk and I walked the L. It took me seven hours. Um, and I met people along the way, some people recorded, some people recorded and listened, and some people just listened. One of my last persons to listen was washing his car, and I just said hello, and he said hello, and he said something else, and uh, then we got to talking, and I showed him my map, and he, I said, would you like words of encouragement, and he listened, and he's like, oh yeah, I get it, I get it, yeah. And he told me then about his mother, who he was taking care of, who's 85, and she's got dementia. Uh, thinking about, you know, somebody who might need words of encouragement there and crossing, crossing the line. So I've got about 35 voices, and every day I will collect more, and um, it will ring, <laughs> and you will hear somebody saying something like, "If." nobody's told you today, I will tell you I love you, or um, you can do this, or being you is important, um, or welcome to Greensboro, so yay. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story and your project with us. Thanks for having me. It brought me here. <laughs>